Hey guys, welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's give a warm welcome to our newest boutique lovers, B Savage Nails and Jackie Throws Nails. And welcome to another unboxing and review, guys. This is Burano's newest poly gel kit. It is their glitter poly gel kit. So really quickly, they come, you know, you get your directions. That gives you directions on how to do three different types of sets. You get your one year free replacement insurance, a 30 pack of plastic forms. You get your 12 sizes in your dual forms. Really cool, they kind of have a slight curve, kind of a lot like McCart's. And you also get 10 sizes in your full well tips. They have a nice arch to them, nice little, uh, curve to them and they're really pretty you get your three in one of course it's good for nail glue base and solution they also give you a slip solution in this kit along with your dappin dish your brush your standard brush and your picker and of course you get these gorgeous not of course actually they this is their newest kit so they're adding things to their newer kits i guess especially in this glitter one obviously you get the butterfly you get three regular colors and then glitter color colors first one is a clear which is awesome i love that they put a clear in there number two you're gonna get a natural pink which is really really pretty i love this color and we used all the colors in today's set because not only am i reviewing this for you guys yes we are also doing a set on my left hand with my dominant hand so next you get number three is this beautiful like mauve nude color number four is a metallic baby pink extra fine glitter number five is a gorgeous multi-mix chunky mix with fine rose gold holographic gorgeous to die for number six is a chunky multi-mix silver holographic glitter very very pretty Number seven, you're gonna get this one, which is kind of like an iridescent with some mattes in there and some metallic. So you got like a, a matte mint, you got metallic lavender. And lastly, for number eight, it's similar to that one in the regard you get the matte mint, but you also get metallic blues in there, matte white, metallic gold. So these colors are just beautiful and they cured in 60 seconds fully. So I'm just demonstrating for you how I go about using their forms. These are the plastic see-through ones. They're actually really, really good for curing poly gel because it's see-through. The paper ones, they don't cure as easily. So this slip solution smells bomb.com, guys. And I'm just starting in by going in with the three-in-one base coat on that first nail, curing it with my little flashy. I have sped up building out the ledge parts. I slowed it down when I come to, to the design, but when it comes to the encapsulating and building out the ledge for you guys, I have sped it up because it's not really anything that you guys haven't seen or particular maybe don't happen to know. But as you can see, I'm using those lines to build out my ledge so that I get them the same length every time. So keep that in mind, guys. And you see how easy that was to pull off and build my ledge out. So now I've slowed it down for you guys. And I'm using number two now. This is that natural cover pink. And I'm using that at the cuticle area. And watch carefully how I use my brush, how I tuck it behind, up and behind those, uh, in between the walls and the cuticle area. Because you don't want it touching the skin. You want... Tammy Taylor calls it hills and valleys. It's just a slight separation between the cuticle and where you start your product. It, I think she calls it hills and valleys because it's like a slight indentation and then you come up on the nail. So yeah, that's a good way to put it, but you see how easy it was to use and mold this poly gel. Now I'm gonna be doing another video on their glow kit cause I feel like I did that absolutely no freaking justice and seeing how good uh, Burano's glitter poly gel kit is, I have to redo it. So now I'm going in with the chunky multi-mix of the rose gold holographic. 
this glitter is just gorgeous and a little bit like I didn't even need to probably use this much actually probably half of that is all I needed but what I do is I end up taking like the excess and using it up at that top blend area now I have a suggestion a tip and trick for you guys when you're blending your glitter fades using poly gel you don't want to do you know, you wanna keep a saturated brush to mold the rest of it, but when you're going to the part where it blends, you wanna let that dry out a little bit so that when you grip it and blend it, it's, you're doing, it's gripping it nicely, like nice and tightly. Um, when you have the solution on, it's a little more slippery. Once your brush starts drying out, it blends so nicely. So that's a tip and trick for you guys, just in case you didn't know that about poly gel or with your brush, that's a tip and trick. And obviously that nail is super flat like a surfboard. So we are gonna come back in and encapsulate this obviously cause we have glitter. So super important. Now if we just had the cover pink, we wouldn't have to do that. We would just build the entire thing up. But since we're using glitter and we're gonna be using some of these pearlescent white to pink butterflies and we're gonna use some of the rose gold holographic to match that glitter. Now, a few of these things go a long way, guys, and a lot of them stick to each other, so just be careful when you pull them out. Just make sure that they're not sticking to each other. That way you don't overuse and waste any. So before I go and encapsulate, I just kind of clean off the surface so there's no kind of residue or anything on those, and I'll just fix that edge right there real quick and then i'll come in with their clear and start capping because obviously we need a higher apex than that and we need strength we need to cover this because we don't want to file into our design that we work so hard on now before i cap this i put it back in the lamp to cure so that the butterflies wouldn't move around when i capped it so keep that in mind as well guys and if you want you could also use the slip uh not the slip but the three in one to place these butterflies as well. So basically I am speeding this up and I'm just going in encapsulating now and pay close attention again to how I tuck up at that cuticle area. Once I'm happy with that, I start bringing the rest of it down. And like I said, guys, you saw how much I put out on here. You don't need a lot of this stuff. Even though they're small 15 gram containers, you could get several sets out of these bottles i'm telling you there's just there's multiple sets you could there's literally poly gel i'm able to get way less waste using poly gel than acrylic so i just love it and i just ordered sxc's vampire kit so i'll have that tomorrow guys i'm really really excited to share that with you as well so once I'm happy with that, I'll move on to my thumb now. And I've already gone in on the rest of the nails with the base coat, just so we're ready. And I have sped this up once again, because we're just building out the ledge, guys. So when I place that clear, I'm pushing it out side to side, keeping my brush up, like keeping some of that product in front of my brush so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm bringing that out to the third and a half line to keep all my nails the same size, guys. So once that's cured, I only put that in for 60 seconds. So that's completely cured. I bring it out and I start using number three. Now this is that beautiful cover, like mauve pinkish color. I freaking love this color. And let me just tell you, this color was actually pretty easy Compared to the other colors, this one was a lot more moldable, kind of more, has had more of like a softer feel to it. And I love poly gel because it just is so easy to get your natural shape. Whereas acrylic, because it's a wetter product, you have to like wait till it's moldable like this. And then you gotta really get in there quick cause then it hardens fast. Whereas this is the acrylic mixed with gel so you get all the time you need. Now, isn't that amazing just how I was able to fully push that into place, mold it into place without it looking crazy. I have as much time as I need. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this guys, especially for beginners. I would highly, highly recommend this product just based off of the unboxing, I gave it a four stars. And that was only because the bottles are, I wish they were 30 
mil or 30 gram instead of the 15. But all jokes aside, once I started using this kit, it went right back up to five stars. I, there's nothing more I could say about this. Like it is so nice of a kit, so pretty. I definitely, definitely recommend it. You have to go out and get it for yourself. Next, I think I'm gonna be ordering their thermal two-in-one glow kit. So it changes color and it glows. So I think that's the next one I'm gonna get. I'm also gonna be ordering McCart's uh, Life of a Rose kit um, and their uh, T one and the glitter, that new glitter one. So look at that, guys. You see what I mean by the fade, fading part? How you wait till it's like dried out and it helps you like pull on it easier to fade it. So much easier if you do that, just so much better. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna put that into cure real quick. And when I take it out, we'll encapsulate and move on to the next nail. So now that that's cured, we're gonna encapsulate it. Super easy, you don't need a lot. And look, how, yeah, like look how much I used and I was able to cap the whole entire thing. I think I added a tiny, tiny bit more to the cuticle area just to build up my apex compared to the rest of the nail. But I did not need a lot at all, as you can see. So yeah, I love that about the poly. I, there's, I mean, I've pretty much said everything I could possibly say about it, but I think poly gel is my new best friend. Not only does it give you the full look of gel, it's durability and strength and just the the natural look to it. it. I just love it. I think I'm actually liking this stuff better than acrylic now. I mean, I'll always be doing my acrylic nails because that's what I started with. You know, once you can do acrylic nails, you could do any kind of nails. Um, I will say that. So once you've mastered acrylic, you've mastered nails. And, you know, like I say all the time, ladies, you learn something new every day, tips and tricks, techniques. I'm six years in the game and I'm still learning new things and I'm still making mistakes. So do not get down on yourself. Keep going. Do not give up. Do not give up. It's so worth it in the end to keep going. So again, we're building out our ledge, bringing that down to the third and a half line on the form, making sure that we're blending that that line there right at that, when I placed the clear down and we pull it down right at that joint area, the free edge of the natural nail, I blend that back a little bit so it's not like a huge ledge there. When I'm done, we'll take it off and we'll start building. We'll start doing our, I believe I am doing the cascading butterflies on this one. So I'm just doing a little bit of the natural pink and I want like somewhat of a glass tip with it. So I only brought the natural pink down like halfway and then faded the rest because I really wanted that clear tip to show with the cascading waterfall of butterflies. So yeah, I actually end up taking that and putting it back up there because it was covering too much of it and like i said i really wanted to do the whole cascading look so i really hope you guys like how this came out i am so excited for these nails because i just been so lazy lately i've been putting everything off and everything off and i'm like you know what this is not like i need to get back and find my love of everything because i've just been really depressed lately i don't know why i don't know i don't know if it's my age or what but i just turned 35 i don't know if i'm going through any changes physically or not i think that's too young but just bear with me, guys. I promise you, I'm always thinking about you guys, always thinking of what I could be doing for videos and stuff. It's just hard sometimes, especially with the whole COVID thing. And people are just more depressed and 
it's been tough guys but i'm gonna add a little more to that top area because i don't have enough of a apex or build up right there so i just add a little bit more of the pink and build that up a little bit more and then i start the waterfall of butterflies and i use my three in one um nail glue base coat bottle for this because i feel like it really instead of bulking up the nail with more clear i felt like it's way better to go in with the three in one because it's a gel a base gel a nail gel glue so this is perfect for that i've also seen femi use her three in one the same way so see how easy that was for me to go around the cuticle and just blend that so seamlessly and thinly it's just so easy with the poly gel i promise you it's just it's the best i i just i'm really really getting into these kits lately and i can't wait to get my vampire sxe kit in tomorrow and And I can't wait to get the, um, no, I already have it. The wedding one, the bridal kit, I already have it. That's the other one I have to um, review for you guys. And I'm going to be ordering their pink kit too, which comes with two sparkly nude colors. It comes with two pink colors that glow. And then it comes with two pink colors that change color. So I'm going to be ordering that one as well, guys. So with this butterfly kind of waterfall cascading thing, I picked up the white pink slash pink pearlescent butterflies along with the rainbow iridescent ones and some of the pink, the darker pink pearlescent ones as well. At least I could have sworn I did. I thought I had grabbed some of those darker pink ones, but maybe I didn't. Oh, there's one that I grabbed. One or two. You see how I had like two butterflies there? Just, yeah, keep um, pay attention to that because they do stick to each other. So, And once I'm happy with the butterfly placement, I will put it into my lamp to cure because I remember we used the three-in-one. So that'll cure nicely. And now we're going to come back in to cap. And look, I didn't even need that much. You see how little bit of clear I needed? Not a whole lot. And when we're done covering the butterflies, we'll come back in and put a little bit up at that top area just to bring it down into the butterflies to make the whole thing even. So, yes, ladies. And I think the last two nails of mine, I build out the ledges off camera and then come back in and build the design with you guys on the pinky one i did a really really cool design because i did like a s swoop like color blocking type of effect and i also did a color blocking design on the ring finger so yes guys i'm gonna leave you guys here to watch i really hope that you enjoy this review and unboxing any questions comments concerns constructive criticism you guys know i'm open to it again welcome to my new ladies and i'm so glad you're here watching enjoying my channel if you have any suggestions collaboration ideas swap ideas whatever you guys want to see from me let me know and let me know what you guys think of my new intro that is my new intro that i'm gonna be sticking with for a while um, I'm, I am going to be, you know, working on editing and stuff like that because obviously, you know, the bigger you grow, you need to get better at that stuff. And I want to, you know, work on that with you guys. So I appreciate all the comments and supportive, constructive criticism I've been getting from you guys. It means a lot to me to hear from you and let me know what I can be doing better or different. So with that in mind guys i'm gonna leave you here and i really hope you enjoy the rest of this like i said any questions comments concerns pop them below i will leave the link for this kit in the description index below along with i'm going to be leaving my 
affiliate coupon code for SXC and my referral link just in case you are interested in buying products you can save 10% with my referral link and discount code so yeah guys I will leave that as well there for you I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video guys bye Blocking. Now we're just going to encapsulate the whole nail after we cure that. Let's just do this with our massage here with that. And then just kind of encapsulate the whole thing. I just don't like how that like gets bubbles in it. It's really weird. I don't like that. I do like though that you can color black with these color gels just like no color. That's nice. I'm just kind of doing like a, a swoop in around that pupil area and using the toe of the brush to get in there and swoop it so that when I come in with the nude in there, I don't have too, too much work I gotta do with it, you know? Just kind of like swooping
something like that, and then I'll fill in the rest with a new. And then we'll come in and we'll cap over these because we're using glitter. So we just want to make sure that our glitter is capped properly when we that way when we come into file, we're not gonna remove any of our beautiful glitter. You know what I mean? So that's basically what we're doing. We're just filling in the sides of those swoops. Going in, in and around those edges very neatly, tucking our brush in the edge there, like so, and then coming like that to pull it down. You come like that and then move it like that. Just tucking in and around that area nicely. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put that in the lamp now. I'll be right back. At 